So my sister and I just left our neighborhood and we are walking to one of the best beaches down here in southern Spain <laughs> yeah. in Las Redes. Um, hmm. Here in Puerto de Santa Maria. And I realized that we don't have to travel to amazing faraway places for us to document and travel out where we're going. So we just left our neighborhood. We're heading down that way. I think the beach is about an extra three minute walk and we will see you over there. So as promised, this little area um, is actually very quiet as of the time being because summer's tourist season is not yet in full swing. But as you can see, maybe a stone throws or maybe three stones throw away is the beach. It is lovely. Lots of little cafes, lots of little bakeries and shops. Oh, Pretty Joko. cool. Right. La 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 la. I'm trying to... Can we not do it right now? I'm trying to do that. The... Alright, so we are here and directly in front of me, past that little crane construction diggy wiggy thingy, is the Bay of Cadiz and the Bridge of Cadiz. And we move further down here and you can see just how glorious and sunny and beautiful our beaches are. Super amazing and we have a lot of little cute cafes and bars here. We even have this water park, this baby water park, which apparently they're going to be setting up pretty soon. But yeah, let's take a walk through the sands. The video will be patchy. It will be going on and off because this is in fact a topless beach. Um, and if you think you're going to get topless beach action with us here, my friend, you are sadly wrong. And we will catch you in a little bit. These stairs lead absolutely nowhere. If you look at it, it goes up. To nothing and then it goes down to nothing so out there in the distance if I stop here for a second you will see our lovely horizon the pier and just happy people enjoying themselves and Meg oh hi Okay. Walking with our feet on the sand because we can. And there's the boardwalk. Sorry, a little shaky, but yes. Nothing like a beautiful, glorious day at the beach. Please do not forget to put on your SPF and keep yourself hydrated, guys. Note to self if you have curious children, like my sister, she likes to pick up seashells and smooth stones and sea glass. Maybe it's a good idea to bring, I don't know, an echo bag. Look at her go. She was like, I don't want to get my feet wet. And look at her go. She's just taking a look at all of the little rocks. Yeah, rocks and seaweed. That have, yep, there you go. So we're finally home and this is the hall that Meg got. We actually found, what, two pieces of sea glass? Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to tell if um, the sea glass is sea glass or it's just like a Heineken beer bottle. Oh, there's a hole but... which you can put in the string so you can have an echo. La la la. And then this one <laughs> is a very cute little seashell that reminded us of our kitten. She's so nice and small. And then... um. What are these? Whatever they are, they're very pretty and they're very purpley. Um, kind of inspiring me to do a makeup look. And then Meg said this is a narwhal horn. Um, a baby narwhal. I'm not a marine biologist, but um, it's probably some sort of snail. And this is the thing. egg of a dragon. It's from the, the egg sea. of a dragon yeah. from the sea. Okay, great. Um, and yeah, and this looks like a rock, but really it's not. I think it's part, it was part of a seashell. But yeah, we like walking around at the beach and collecting these little bits and pieces. Um, yeah, that's our Saturday, right?
Great. Great. Bye. Bye-bye.